I was lying in my bed at nine o'clock when my alarm gave out an eerie shock. I'd been waiting all day and through the night, and finally, to my delight, they did the nine at nine. It made me lose my mind. A thrill for Frankenstein. They did the nine at nine. All right, let's start with number nine. It's time for Random Insect Facts. Oh, all right. Today, we're talking about weevils, everybody's favorite. There are more than 60,000 species of these guys. They're powerful pollinators. And here's how you can tell a weevil from a typical beetle. Just look at their nose. Oh. Weevils have big eyes and giant snouts. Yeah. Sometimes their snouts can be as large as their bodies. Wow, that's the amazing. The life cycle of a weevil is between 30 and 40 days uh, during wow. the summer, but winter weevils can live longer, up to 148 days. Wow. Well, you got to squeeze a lot of living into that yeah. time. Yeah. Here's our favorite weevil fact, though, and there are so many it was hard to just uh, pick one. Yeah. When disturbed or threatened, Weevils often play dead. Really? Huh. They tuck their little Smart. legs and they lie motionless on their backs. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Well, when you only have 148 days, you yeah. want yeah. everything yeah. at your disposal. Yeah. 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 And ladies and gentlemen, this has been Random Insect Facts. You are welcome. Yeah. Oh, All right. That's great. Something. Thanks, yeah. Pat. Oh, well, okay. yeah. Thank, Thank you, everybody. From the hey, you're unnecessary. Just this yeah. guy doing my job. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Do it well, yeah. though. Heroic. All right, number eight. Uh, the movie doesn't come out until July, but it's about to become the summer of Barbie. And the merch is everywhere. If it's pink, if it pops, it's Barbie. You can find just about everything you'd ever want from Barbie pool toys to Barbie flat irons to Barbie lemonade to Barbie coffee wow. mugs featuring an outline of the Barbie dream house. There's also a swimsuit. Looks similar to the first one that Barbie wore when the doll first came out. I've got an entire Barbie merch section on my TikTok page, Paulie's Pretty Barbie Party. Uh, that's been out for a few days. Now. All right. So, what do we think, Lauren? Are we into this, or is this a little too lowbrow? For Who would be into movie? this? Like, I don't get well, I'm it. I'm not sure I understand what the movie's about. Every time I see clips of the movie, I'm not sure if I understand what it's about. I'm sure. But you are wearing yeah. the Barbie blouse I am wearing right the Barbie now, pink, is, yeah. Yeah. Nice of you. Right? Well, I'm ahead yeah, of the trend, actually, Paul. Yeah. I don't I think don't the plot. Who would care? Like, who would want to watch this? Girls who love Barbie. Yeah, but who yeah, I love are Barbie growing up. Are there girls that are still into Barbie? Yes. Are they? Are yeah. they still? Is Barbie still? Like Barbie is still huge. Yeah. She's still huge. Yeah. Still huge. Yeah. 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 Huge. Yeah. huge enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> How many times a year do you live, leave that cave that you live in? I, uh, I'm out of there every day. Sanctuary. I just stay away from. I don't think. Yeah, I, uh, I just go out there. The house. I go and uh, walk yeah. in the Just, uh, just go and walk. Were dolls prohibited in your house or? No, just no one ever. I, we never had a Barbie in our house. Would you guys yeah. play with blocks? Onions? Jacks? <laughs> I love jacks. <laughs> Didn't your girls ever want Barbies? No. No, huh. no? Yeah. no not that yeah. I know of. All right. I don't think no, so. Did another you know? generation of Conrads. <laughs> yeah. We had, we had one doll. There were six of us. Seven. Seven. So Seven. one day a week with the doll. Yeah. That's all you need. <laughs> just one doll. I just don't get it. I don't yeah. understand. It's a doll. It's yeah. so yeah. dumb. Yeah. Uh, well, number right. seven, everyone probably recognizes this album cover. It's the front and back of the Beatles' uh, 1969 record, Abbey Road. And the street of that name is now historic, of course. And all over the world, there are all these live cams. So let's see if anything interesting is happening oh, oh, on Abbey Road yeah. in London oh, right yeah. now. Cams. Well, this could be a daily segment. There's yeah. six I thought hours nobody's ahead. trying to do it right now. Mm. Oh, it's three in the afternoon. All We're right. facing the other way, though, right? Yeah, they they should should I, think, I think so. The yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, look at this. Yeah. That's a nice Actually, car. What if we did this at the exact same time every day? See yeah, who the I think so. Are. How about the squiggly lines for the lanes? Yeah, yeah what's going on that. there? That's classic Brits. Yeah. yeah. Wacky. Having a good time. Huh. You know them and their hatred of straight lines. Yeah. That's why they lost the war, you know? Yeah. yeah. Look at this guy. There's other cameras, you say, Larry? Is there one from the other There side? seems to be. We'll keep checking around. Uh, oh, yeah, this is fun. fun. No tourists. That must be what the, the problem is. That yeah. must drive them nuts. I think it does. 
Yeah, we'll get another angle for tomorrow. Okay, that's where it's sticking around for. Daily yeah. update. Sure. Yeah. Leave your TV on. <laughs> Number six, Denise Austin went viral recently for posting these side-by-side -side photos of her wearing the same pink swimsuit she wore in the 90s. She's 66 years old now, and she says the secret to looking so good is simply working out. She's been doing 30-minute workouts for 40 years. Her motto, if you rest, you'll rust. Let's see oh. her in action. Now that's it. Great. Just pulse higher. You got this. Straight arms. That's good. Keep it up. Come on. Look, beautiful arms. Hold it up there. Last one. Okay. Your back is as strong and straight. Whoop. Pull in that belly button. That's it. Back is straight. Abs are mm. tight. We got two more. Last one. We hold it up. Baby pulses. Baby pulses. You got this. That's it. Good. Oh, she's really in the best you can now. You got it, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, you really head talks press. non stop. Good. That I got gotcha. you. You can do this. Shaping those and arms. Those yes. Videos. Get you some pet, you huh? Yeah. Do yeah. She's got that's a That's a restoration one. hardware table okay. right there. Okay, now it's time for the deltoids. Deltoids. That's shape your shoulders. And it's your favorite home. shoulder muscle, you're right? Yeah. Up nice and yeah. tall. Yeah. And you're just shifting your hips. You're like a front or a rear delt? I'm a rear delt guy. Hips, keeping Some of the people like the front, but yeah, for me, like it's always been the rear. Larry, you yeah. have a favorite? I take them both, man. You, yeah. can't, you can't do one and not no, the other, yeah, otherwise yeah. they start falling yeah. apart. Yeah, that's though, a good yeah. point. That's how you pull yeah, a muscle. Good point. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, number five, uh, these guys are making Samarkand <laughs> bread. Oh, I've never heard of it. Samarkand bread. Really? It's a, uh, well, yeah, Paul, it's a traditional bread from Uzbekistan. Oh, you don't have to tell me. I was surprised Lauren didn't know about it. <laughs> the bakers put a signature stamp in the middle oh. of the loaves yeah, that also this. serves to let some air escape during baking. Whoa, wait. See, they've got Larry, you gotta let it. air escape. That's yeah. important okay, to do. Stick Whoa, them in look there. what they're doing. Why, how are they sticking to the. Well, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. You guys just yeah. keep interrupting. They, Sorry. they Sorry. also press sesame seeds into the center. The bread is shaped like a cake. It's thinner in the center and it has a pretty soft crust. And that thing it's being uh, baked in is called a tandoor. You know, sure, they're yeah, they're yeah. Tandoor. Oh. as well. It's a traditional, well-shaped oven. They eat this bread with most meals, and the best loaves are made in the town with the same name, uh, Samarkand. Yeah, yeah, sure. It looks like wow. a Bialy almost when it's done. Oh, I like love a Big a old Bialy. Bialy. Uh, Boy, if there's anybody who owns an Uzbekistan restaurant in town and you're watching this, send us one over for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna try it. Looks like it, it would yeah. be delicious. Yeah, gotta believe there's tons of them here. Look at that. I just don't understand how they're sticking Look at that. that. Yeah, it is interesting. Good it's stuff. Delicious. Mm. All right, that was fun. Number four. Uh, some people believe aliens are out there waiting to make contact with us, and others say <laughs> aliens are already here in the form of robotic probes. And well, we're talking about scientists from Stanford and other esteemed universities. They believe aliens come down to Earth or other planets uh, for exploration. And uh, they're released as their mothership passes by, and we won't see the probes with the human eye because they're likely tiny like uh, dandelion seeds. Hmm. Astronomers won't be able to see them either because they don't reflect enough sunlight. You can read more about it if you're up for it in Popular Mechanics, an excellent summer by the pool read hmm. if you have time. Yeah. Seems like there's a lot of variables in there why, as to why you can't see them. And I wouldn't have thought popular mechanics would have jumped in on this. Well, it's, it's science. Uh, yeah. yeah. They're everywhere, Paul. Yeah, I know you probably have a lot of questions, but don't ask them. No. Mm. The government will be on to you. Mm. That is right. Track you down. Mm. Number three, back in the day, starting in the 60s, stonewashed jeans really were washed with stones. They're placed in a giant washer that also had stones in it that breaks down the jeans or whatever fabric it is. Wow. It makes them softer and more weathered. But now many in the denim gene industry are using CO2 lasers to do that job faster. The lasers used can Whoa. create the holes. Wow, look at that, look spraying at that, uh, and fading. Fire. Oh, yeah, so it gives them like a little more. You see that little, little yeah. fake creases there? Wow. Little smoky shorts there. It only takes 90 <laughs> seconds, and it's a whole lot cheaper. That many minutes to giant machine room. Wow. wow. They use water and all yeah. sorts of other stuff. I, this is well, good. Kind of safe, does it? I mean, what if you got a hand stuck in there? Yeah. yeah. It's gonna happen. Mercy. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> 
it's unfortunate where it starts, yeah. but you know, the well, end yeah. result is. Yeah. Well, well done start with somewhere. the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. That's what that is, right? Yeah. 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 Well Number two, here's a funny looking cactus. It's kind of, it looks like a, a lady with curlers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it does. But this is called Cactus Delenny. The more common name is prickly pear. Oh, yeah, and that they make ice cream out of that. Oh, in do they? Yeah. yeah, very good. The yeah. fruit is edible, tastes yeah. a bit like kiwi. You have to peel it carefully and make sure you get all those prickles because it's not pleasant to eat those. Oh, yeah. In Mexico, it's used in everything from salads to jellies to drinks. And in parts of the Southwest, you can get prickly pear candy. And get this, it's been useful as a medication for gonorrhea, Whoa. Yeah. whooping cough, and constipation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Wow, that's, some, yeah. Those are the diseases you want yeah. yeah, really to be able to fight back. Yeah. That old constipation will mm -hmm. yeah. take you out. <laughs> all right. Uh, number one, you know, we're all looking forward to a great event coming up in July in Los Angeles. I don't need to tell you what it is, but I will for those uninitiated. We're talking about the ultimate robot animation convention. And now, uh, Paul, before you go any further, this is not a conference for science nerds. It's a celebration of robot dancers. And uh, uh, my money, personally, this year is on Yaya Vankova. Oh, you gotta yeah. check her out. Incredible. All right, let's see Yaya. She's a robot, huh? Oh, so she's not a robot, she's dancing the yes, robot. Yes, See, yes, you, had the, you were oh, totally wrong with all this. I was trying to tip you off. I thought this was like you were a robot. I thought Pop stole that pretty well, she's Yeah, she's dancing like a robot. Mm. And it's not easy to do that in high-waisted pants, no. either. Yeah. No, good point. But she's a human. She's good. She is far a human. Yeah. 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 It's not it's small wonder. Robots it's have come so far these days. You, you don't know, know whether they're real and right. that's no, right. She's she's real, robots but through the robots. You got robots. Yeah. That's... All the people in the audience are robots. That's uh, they are. Okay. They're the judges. Yeah. This yes. great stuff. Oh, look at yeah, yeah, go. Um, all right, listen, Yaya is actually more than a robot dancer. She is a choreographer and dance instructor uh, who has wow. even trained Olympic teams for synchronized mm. swimming, and she was also in one of those step-up movies. Ooh, look at that. That's mm. good stuff. Yeah. They did the nine at nine.